Hey everyone, Julie Henderson here, and I just want to do a video to talk about how to make um, a blank background. So if you saw my last video that I made, I put a picture, a little like emerald gem logo on it, and um, I went through and erased the background. So I'm going to show you how to do that once, so you don't have to keep doing it every time. So you can use it for different overlays that you're using frequently, and you can also use it for, um, I'll just real quick run through how I made my signature that's on my blog, my little piece, Love Julie. And um, so you can use it for up just about anything. So I'm going to go to Edit and Computer. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. For this one, I'm going to do Design. So I'm going to go Design and then Square. Okay, so this is the most important part here, is choosing a transparent canvas. And I wish you guys could see my mouse. Um, but unfortunately you can't. Oh, and by the way, I'm on PicMonkey, uh, PicMonkey.com. So you're going to click Transparent ca Canvas, and it's going to show up with all these little checkers, but these checkers won't show up in the photo. It's just there so you know that this is the transparent part. So um, you go to this little butterfly on the left, which is the overlay, and you click your own. And then this is where I am going to grab this emerald photo. So as you can see, um, this, the white part is going to show up white if I put it on a photo. So what I want to do is erase all of this white. So I like to make it as big as I can just because that way you can kind of get in a little closer. Um, so you're going to choose the eraser. And then if I use the eraser this size, it would take me forever to erase all that. So I'm going to make the eraser really big. And I'm just going to start erasing all of this white. So I won't go through the whole picture just because it would take forever. If you mess up and you go too far in like that, all you would do is click this little paintbrush up here and then you can paint it back in. And then just go back to the eraser so you can kind of touch up the outside there. And that's really it. So you would go through the entire picture and then I would make it smaller. So, so you can see already just you know, just what I erased there. So you would go through the, the entire picture, and then when you're finished erasing all of this, all you're going to be left with is this green emerald. So when you save it, you want to save it as a PNG, because the PNG is going to save it as the clear background. So that's how you do it for something like that. Um, for my, if you wanted to do your own overlay, um, you could make your own logo, you could do, you know, like I have my, my signature for my blog as the Peace Love Julie, and then I can also put that on photos. So what I did for that is I started with the transparent background, and I went to symbols and got the peace sign, and I made it blue, I think it's like about that blue. And then I added, I believe, this heart on top. And so what I did for this heart is on the inside color, I made it transparent. And then for this color, I picked something like that. And then so you have all four corners will make it bigger um, and smaller. And then at the top, there's this little guy right here, and that's what rotates it. So my heart is showing up on top of the peace sign because it's the last photo that I added. If I wanted it the other way around, I could just click on the heart and then just right click on it and then send it back. And then that makes the peace sign in the back. So I actually want that on the front. And then I just went and added a text. 
And for mine, I chose the Sacramento font. And so that right there is my signature that I made for my website. Um, and I put it at the bottom of my blogs and some photos I put it on also. So this, when I save it, it's going to show up just like this. So it won't have a white background. It won't have those checkers. If I put it on something, you'll be able to see through the peace sign and see through the heart. If I wanted to put something behind it, I could do, what is a good one for this? There's so much to play with on this website. I just kind of want like something for the background. And I'm really not finding what I want. Hmm. Oh, here. So let's just take something like, okay, we'll take this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of the colors white. And then, so if I just, because it's the last one I put, it shows up on top. So if I want to put it in the very, very back, I just put send to back. And then, so you can kind of see now, this is going to show up with a little bit of white behind it. There's still going to be some spots where whatever you put it on will show through, but then it will also show up with the white here also. So, you know, I'm going to save this so I can kind of show you what it looks like. I'm just going to save it right to my desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to just go to design just so I can kind of give you an idea what this looks like. And I'm just going to pick a black background for the canvas color. So then when I click the little butterfly over here for the overlay and then click your own, I'm going to pick my logo test. And so this is what I just made. So this shows you how the black background shows up a little bit behind um, the heart and the peace sign, but then also that white in the back shows up too. So if I had a different canvas color, it's always going to have that, you know, that white there. So that's how that's as easy as it is. And so like I showed you before, over here, um, there is just so much to go through. There's stars, there's different symbols, there's nautical, there are, you know, little like animals and critters and you, know, you can add fireworks. You know, so I could add fireworks up there if I wanted. Um, there's just so much stuff to add. So, you know, definitely play around with it, but that at least gives you the basics and shows you how to make you know, a transparent background so you can put it on top of photos. So I hope that helped. Um, comment below if there's anything else you want me to show you how to do in PicMonkey, and I will talk to you guys later.